Why do you allow suffering? Why do good, faithful people die in natural disasters? Why would you give innocent children terminal illnesses or genetic deformities? Seriously, a talking snake? If you know our fate, then why should we bother with prayer? It's like praying for a movie to have a different ending, even though it's already been written. It seems kind of pointless. Which prayers do you listen to, and which ones do you ignore? How do I know when you're talking to me, or I'm just talking to myself? What am I gonna do in heaven? Because an eternity of doing the same thing over and over again doesn't sound like a lot of fun. And I'm pretty sure the things a lot of people want to do over and over again are probably the sort of things you don't allow in heaven in the first place. How can you offer unconditional love and threaten people with eternal damnation? Those two things don't seem to go together. How can I enjoy heaven if someone I love is burning in hell? Isn't it pretty messed up that a kind, loving atheist and an evil, genocidal maniac would both suffer the same sort of eternal punishment in your eyes? Why are your followers so annoying? Why are your commandments so misguided? I mean, there's just no sense of priority there. You ban worshipping false idols and taking your name in vain, but not slavery or rape. With all the different religions, not to mention all the different kinds of Christianity, why don't you just settle the question once and for all, instead of speaking through ambiguous messages that can be interpreted in so many different ways? If you really wanted our sins to be forgiven, why did you have to kill your son to do it? That's like what the Mafia would do. Why don't you stop playing hide and seek with us and just show yourself? And for real, not through little kids who visit you in heaven. Or through toast. Seriously. Toast? Why do you seem to answer the prayers of rich athletes who want to win a game, but not of starving children who are on the brink of death? If your word is so inerrant, then how come all religious people seem to think all the other religious people are so wrong? If fetuses are innocent, Shouldn't we be thanking abortion doctors for sending them to heaven? If thou shalt not kill is one of your commandments, then how come Christians love guns so much? Why won't you heal amputees? If I'm sick, should I pray to you or go see a doctor? And if I should do both, well, which one would help me more? Why didn't you hire an editor for the Bible? because it's long, boring, full of contradictions, and really repetitive. Why is your last name Damn It? Was it hard for your son growing up in the Middle East, being the only white kid in the neighborhood? What do you have against foreskin? How do magnets work? How come your son supposedly died for my sins, but you brought him back to life? You went back on your word! Why do you get all of the credit, but none of the blame? Who broke your heart so badly that you have to take out your wrath on women? Why would you create such a vast universe and then only inhabit one planet? Why are so many people allergic to so many of your creations? How come our bodies have a sewage system next to an amusement park? I mean, that's just bad design. How come science keeps proving you wrong. My name is Hemant Mehta, and I write at FriendlyAtheist.com. What do you want to see a video about? Let us know in the comments below, and we'll be sure to check it out.